everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing of a game, Dawn of Peacemakers. Now this is a game that I did not know almost anything about really. I, it was on my radar, it had made it to my wish list, but if you asked me what this game was about or, or kind of what some of the mechanisms were, I really couldn't tell you much. So I knew that it was cooperative and that was about it. So when I did the unboxing here, you'll, you'll see that I had a few surprises that I wasn't expecting and I'm pretty excited about this game now. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna let you kind of discover it with me in case you don't know anything about it as well, so let's get right into the unboxing. All right, here we go, Dawn of Peacemakers, a cooperative story-driven gaming experience for one to four players, Snowdale Design. Let's see, we've got, it's a pretty heavy box. Uh, ages 14 and up, one to four players, 60 to 120 minutes. I'm curious if that uh, 14 and up is more because uh, sometimes I'll do that just because of like, you know, if there's small components, they can't say that it's certain ages. So I'm curious if that 14 and up is more to do with that or if it's actually because of the difficulty of the game. Uh, you can see we've got some miniatures in here. There's actually quite a few miniatures. There's 30 plus miniatures and um, 420 cards, a double-sided game board, uh, two double-sided boards. Custom die, various tokens, all kinds of stuff in there. So let's go on and get right into the box and see what we've got. Also, I just noticed this uh, game and illustrations by uh, Sammy Loxo. I apologize if I'm butchering your name. I always think it's really interesting when a game is both designed and illustrated by the same person. There's a few people that do it really, really well. Right off the bat, I can say I like this artwork here. Uh, Ryan Lockett over at Red River Games is another one that, that does uh, this very well. So let's see how this is going to end up turning out. All right, so here's a please read this first. Introduction, sealed components. This game comes with multiple sealed components with warning icons on them. Do not open them yet. These include new and exciting game balance you discovered during the playthrough of the campaign. Y'all, okay, so I know very, very little about this game. So this is very exciting. I had no idea that this sort of thing was included in this game. Most of the unlock components can be used in skirmishes as well. We recommend playing at least a couple of ga of ca a campaign, a couple of games of the campaign to familiarize yourself with the rules before playing skirmishes. So also unlock more components to use in skirmishes before your first game. All right, so here's some stuff that's got to be assembled. Forming the campaign deck. Okay, so I want to be very careful, very careful as I go through this, not to accidentally open up some stuff I'm not supposed to. All right, so this looks like scenario one game end state date. I guess this is campaign log or something. What is this? Just a flyer for Snowdale Design, looks like. Dale of Merchants, okay. All right, here is the campaign booklet. Now, this thing is got this has quite a bit going on here. Stop, open this envelope before playing the 12th scenario, okay? So now, knowing now that this is a campaign with spoilers and stuff, I don't wanna to go too deep into this. We've got initial components, game overview, card types and stuff like that. Scenario one, well, let's just take a look at scenario one real quick. All right, so you have a setup over here. I wonder if that's specifically for this scenario or just the general game setup. All kinds of stuff going on here. Frontline sign, motivation, play, ploy deck. I got estimated play time up here, 30 to 60 minutes. All right, let's just take, let's go. Okay, so this is still part of scenario one. Wow, look at all this stuff. This might, you know, that 14 up might really be based on everything that's going on. Got an adventure phase, army phase. Status phase, game start. Stop, do not flip, do not flip more pages until a game end condition is met. Okay, don't have to tell me twice. Look at more warnings on the back. The campaign booklet includes new rules and surprises in it. Start reading from the other side. Index booklet. The index book includes all rules in it in order to not ruin the enjoyment and surprise that way we advise you only looking. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not going to flip into that too much. Um, 
So that explains why at the beginning of this, as we go into this, it's got so much text prior to, you know, as part of the first scenario is probably because it's teaching you rules as you go along. Uh, that, that's, that seems to be what's going on here. All right, this is the skirmish booklet. All right, the skirmish booklet includes spoilers for the campaign. We recommend you play through the whole campaign if you want to avoid all spoilers. Okay. So this is another one of these sealed envelopes. Open. Oh, let's, well, I don't know why we're, there we go. Open this envelope before playing the first scenario if you choose, if you chose Naboo as your adventurer. Open this envelope if you chose uh, Yanar. Okay. Sticking together just a little bit. Uh, here we go with Tambatro and a Kazan. All right. Okay, here's some stuff we can punch out. All right, double sided tiles here. I'm guessing these may go on to. A bigger board to add terrain to a bigger board. You can see we've got some bridges there. Starting starting player. What does it say? I miss. Or I'm sorry, pass the token to the to the right. Alright. Here's something. This I think that's this is the thing that I was showing need to be set up maybe. All right, moving on in, we've got another board here, punch board two, side A, side B, this is, you can see desert and jungle. What was this described as over here? Jungle and desert again? Yep. Okay. Do not open this envelope until specifically told to do so in the campaign book. What we got here? Okay, so here is the play board. And you can see this side Go up a little bit. This side is jungle. We've got a counter up here. You've got a spot for a resource deck over here and a resource discard pile over here. All right. And then this side, so that looks like the jungle. This is going to be the desert, I believe. Same set of the counter, resource deck, resource discard pile down here. All right. Nice sturdy board, by the way. So we've got defeated units. Lower the motivation by one each time a unit of this side is defeated. All right, and see the motivation down here. A little bit different on each side. That might maybe that's for the skirmish mode though. So here you can see we've got some different stuff. This is a box right here that says. Stop. Do not open this container A until specifically told to do so in the campaign booklet. No problem. Don't have to tell me twice. All right, here we've got some minis. You know what? Let me adjust the lighting just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Well, I don't know why my seem to have a hard time focusing here. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. So sorry I was having some trouble with the focusing there, but you can see these minis are actually pretty nice looking. All right, here's another one. Looks like he's got a hat on his back there. And some kind of a bird here. We've got a whole bunch of minis in here. I'm guessing most of these will probably be the, the enemies that we're facing. Look at 
that guy. Okay. And a bird. I believe it's like the McCalls versus the Ocelots or something, or the two factions that are warring, and then we're trying to maybe make peace or something, because that looks like well, we've got two different, two different main factions here for the most part. But a number of different minis in there. There's a bag with these little punch things that you use to probably clip um, these pieces together. Got a die here with a bunch of different types of sides. It looks like some bursts, and that looks like a gear, and then some circles. Okay. Got some round or some uh, some some bases for some colored bases for the minis, blue and red. And then what do we have over here? We got some cubes and some discs. All right. And you know what? This, see, right here, we're already getting some of these decks stopped. Do not draw. Okay, no problem. We'll leave those alone. And But that's pretty much going to be everything. Or stop, do not draw, stop, do not draw, or do not open. Yep. That's what all, well, this is a little different. This does not say that. I wonder if... I think we can look into these without too much danger. There's nothing saying don't open these up. Let's 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 go ahead and take a look at these. It says order ploy. Regular organizing evasive. So we've got a number of these. Okay, and then this is a unit. Got the Ocelot Archer, Warrior, Commander, uh, Soshiyam, Soshiyamak, maybe. We'll call Soldier. Local Contact, that's a resource. Okay, Local Contacts. Lookout, still a resource. Natural Materials. Mixed groups, still, I think all the rest of these are resources. Yeah, so we got False Order, Friendly Guide, Carrier Pigeon, and Emergency Care. And let's open this one up. It's the only other deck here that's not covered in warnings to leave it alone, so. All right, so this maybe, these are probably uh, reference cards and we've got more orders tasks so I guess the are these probably all orders ploys and tasks yeah all right so just a bunch of different ploys and tasks and orders strike cover move bold okay um, and you know what? Let's take a look, see if there's anything under the box or under the insert. No, I wouldn't have been surprised the game like this with all the stuff that's kind of secretive if they had hidden something out of there, but there's nothing there. So that is everything that comes with Dawn of Peacemakers. All right, so there you go. That is Dawn of Peacemakers. Uh, a lot of unlockable stuff in this game. I had no clue that that was that this was that type of game. Very excited to give it a shot. I may, maybe when I play the first game, I'm not. I'll see if I'm able to get my daughter to play this with me. Uh, if I am, I'll, I'll, then I'll play the first game with her and do that, and then maybe eventually we'll get a gameplay up. But if if I can't convince her to play it with me, if nobody else is interested, I end up doing this one solo. Maybe I'll play that first game live uh, or, or at least recorded so that y'all can kind of see as I kind of dive into what this game is and what it's about. So very excited to get more into this one. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, consider subscribing. You can find me over on Twitter at Board Offline. And until next time, if you're bored online, Board Offline.